In this video, we're gonna show you how to connect a Socket S800 Bluetooth scanner with an Android device, specifically a Pixel 2 phone. So here's the scanner. It's a little bit bigger than like an Opticon or a KDC. However, it's incredibly thin. It's maybe the thickness of four or five credit cards. And you can actually put Velcro on the back of this, attach it to your phone. It's pretty easy to hold. It's got a nice large trigger right there to turn the scanner on and off. And then just a little bit of a power button. It's kind of hard to see, but right on the edge there's a small power button. So when you're pairing this, it's always a good idea to reset the scanner. And the way to do that is to turn the power on. So press and hold that small button. You'll hear it beep, kind of sounds like C3PO going on. Then you're gonna reset it. You're gonna press and hold the trigger and the power for just a couple seconds. So you'll hear a series of beeps. That means it's been successfully reset and now we're good to go. So we may have to turn it back on. Yep, so we're gonna turn on the scanner. Then we're gonna uh, use this scan sheet. You can download these for free. We'll have a link in the comments below. So you're simply gonna go through, so step one was reset the device, we just did that. Step two is we're gonna turn on keyboard mode, simply scan that barcode. Step three is make Bluetooth discoverable. And so now it's hunting for a device. The way we're gonna do that is you're gonna come into your phone, go to Bluetooth, say more settings. We're gonna say pair new device and give it a minute and it should pop up there as well. So here it is, socket CHS. Simply press that and it should pair automatically. And there we go. So we're all set. We do have some barcodes here. If it does prompt you for a code, it shouldn't, but for some reason, if it does, they're there for you. After that, we're off and running. So you can simply, again, this is paired as a keyboard. So we can go into Google, for example, and scan a book and it will simply scan and hit enter and off we go. Now, of course, you can use a scanning app to speed up that process significantly. And as fast as you can scan books, you'll get results in the app. So that's how to pair it. If you're gonna unpair it or move back, you can simply turn the scanner off. And again, just press and hold that small button on the side and we're done. Now, when you go to repair it, you don't have to actually have this sheet again. It should remember your phone. It's always a good idea to have the sheet with you just to, uh, just to prevent yourself from Murphy's Law. Go ahead and turn the scanner on, pull down your Bluetooth settings, tap the socket and we're connected just like that. Now when you pair it for the second time, it's actually gonna pop up with configure physical keyboard or virtual keyboard. There's an option here on Google phones to show the virtual keyboard. Since we're pairing this as an HID or as, a, as an external keyboard, we actually wanna have this setting set to off. So if we leave this on and then we go to, for example, to Google, it's gonna bring the keyboard up here as well. We can scan a book, no problem, then the keyboard goes away, but it's fairly annoying kind of popping back and forth. So if you wanna get rid of that, you'll see the little icon in the corner, simply tap the virtual keyboard and say, turn that off. Now, when you tap in here, no keyboard gets brought up and all you'll be able to work with is simply the scanner. So that's how to work with a socket scanner and a Pixel device.